And I think she's doing a fantastic job. Where is she coming? Where is my sunshine? Here is my sunshine. Tell us something. Hi, everybody. We're in the studio right now, and the show's going. And we're so happy to be here. Stay tuned. See? She's full of positive energy, exciting directional force, and more. She is excited to be here. She is a flower of life. You know? She is continuation of mystery. So is you. On some scale, we accept that paradox of life without questioning and putting big doubt on it. We should. You should, I should, but we don't. Because we are here on Monday trying to hold our hands and blow kisses. One penny, second penny. Why did I say that? Because the whole purpose, the whole purpose, and maybe even more of the purpose, that there is no purpose. If there another element that we're trying to accomplish here is that <laughs> we're not gonna try to find the meaning or woo you, woo you, or maybe another part of you and find and, and make some sense. No, 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 no. It's not our purpose. <laughs> it's not our purpose. What? Our purpose is to dive, dive with all the mighty power in chaos and mystery of human existence. To absorb uh, the flavor of the moment that we can. Mwah, mwah, uh, are you absorbing it? Yes, I am. Are you absorbing all of it? Mwah, at least 95%. What else with the 5%? Mwah, I'm living into a doubt. Mwah, just let it go. 5% is not such a big number. Mwah, but 95%, it's pretty big. But why are you concentrating on the last 5%? Because I can't let it go. Well, why don't you? Why don't you let it go? I promise I will. Four minutes of questions without the answers. But that's the point. That means we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Is this the right track? This is the right track, right there. It's right there, it's behind you, look. It's behind you. Just turn around, look. You left the steps in this life. And they're full of, of meaning, each of them. You have those steps. And now if you look behind you, you realize it's a long, long, tracky track that you stepped. But before you, wasn't any road. You think it was, but it wasn't because it didn't exist. And now it's in full existence. That's where I come in. That's where I pop out. That's where I start to say, You did, didn't you? You did. You got yourself a little haircut. It's a little reminder that there is constant continuation. It's a little reminder that you grow into, back into universe from inside out. That's how you do it. That's how I do it. That's how you do it too. Somebody got a haircut. That's not creepy. How do I know that? Because I'm in a constant search. 
I'm gonna constant search. Yes, I'm gonna constant search. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take those little, little pieces. I'm gonna constant search and I'll put them all together in a little ball that will grow in a size and it's going to expand into the dimensions of uncertainty. I put them all and we'll see how big it's gonna go. It will get bigger, I promise. Because the more questions you have, the more unanswered answers are. That's not, that's not creepy. That's not, that's not creepy. That's not creepy. That's not creepy. They are. All right. You know what I wanted to ask you? The world's searching for something. What are you searching for? What is that that you searching almost every other day and put some energy and wishful, wishful thinking? You put some wishful thinking into the process of searching. You probably put that dollar in a lottery ticket because you're searching, because you want to get that prize and continue your search, thinking that, no, it's not this, wait, it's here, one second, don't go anywhere, wait, 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 there is nothing else on other channels, on other channels there is a spooky spooks, here, that's, oh yeah, yeah, you think, yeah, going back. That's, 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 that's not. We're going back, right? You get yourself a, a lottery ticket. You get your ticket and you think that this will give you a chance not to do what you don't want to do, but do what you want to do, right? You do, and you put it somehow and you want it to dedicate your free time and any time, any waking time to yourself. Or maybe even a bigger cause. That's why every other day you go and get your numbers on a ticket and then hoping that those numbers will connect and you will be free from maybe financial obligations. That's not, that's not. Hmm? I do that too. I did that with the f my all force almighty. And Terry, she's a witness. She's a witness of those moments where I was on a dirty linoleum floor, crawling, praying and looking for those answers that were outside of me. And she tried to soothe me, but I was refusing. No, 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 no. I was saying no. That's unbelievable. Right? I couldn't accept it. I didn't believe it. I didn't have any faith. I didn't have that imagination that I can mold something into more tangible. And I will mold something into more tangible. Where's my wife? <laughs> Here she is. That's, 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 that's tangible. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing? And the show is just fantastic. I'm uh, behind there doing the uh, special effects, uh, and they're very special. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That was one of them. A kiss. I'm blowing kisses to my husband and giving him positive energy while he's doing this great show. All right, everybody. I'll, I'll see you again in a few minutes. Keep going on, honey. You're doing a great job. Keep going. I'm doing a good job. I'll be right back. And then, thank you, sunshine. Sure. Wait, wait, one second. 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 Wait, 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 w
That's it. Now we'll have a master magician here. Finally, somebody who have a mighty knowledge of magical instrument controls that we all do have deep inside. We have that, <laughs> right? But some people possess it like a magician's mm. and we want to believe in it. We give them the power over us and that person is here. He's pressing his ever soft fingers on magical buttons. Let me keep your computer for the night. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Where did you go? Wait, 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 one second. Wait, wait, one second. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Believable. I think today we're experiencing shortage of oxygen. Silly. I know it is. But I trust in your intelligence. How I trust in intelligence of people who are surrounding me. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. But I still do. I still do because with the same energy, once a week, I come here to make sure that we have this rendezvous, that we have this. And you would say, What? What? That's stupid! I... Huh? Like that. But I think it's smart. I think it's really smart. And you have, you have that smartness. You just have to grab it with your clean hands and mold it into something that will be even more, something even bigger, with more excitement and calmness in the same time. Can it be more excitement and, and peacefulness? Absolutely. Wait, wait, one second. Can it be more nervousness and sophistication? Yes, it can. Umbarala, I would say. That's not creepy. That's what my wife says. And I'm with her on that. That's unbelievable. That's what Malik the producer says. And I'm with him on that. <laughs> This is the moment, this is the moment, this is it. It's two pennies for that. Two pennies! Do you remember there used to be three pennies opera? And I say, hey, how can it possible? This is it. This is this two penny opera. Okay, I think it's time. Oh, look, look what I found on the floor. Get myself another tip. Another tip. Another tip. How can we be without the tips? Mm. This is the part of the moment where I have to give you and myself another reminder of the search. Because we're always on a journey, right? Like people who go from point A to point B. I'm one of them. And you too. Maybe you're not one of them, maybe you're many of them. I don't know how many people are living inside of you. Do you know? Do you know how many people are living inside of you? <sighs> there is a lot. Some people don't even have a specific answer how many people live inside of them. Does it have to be numerical? Does it have to be answered? <sighs> Do you have to find it? Do you? I would say, absolutely. Find it. Just put the little pressure on that favorite blister of yours, you know, and scratch it. 
Give yourself that pleasure and give it. Who else is going to do it but you? And then ask that other person who lives inside of you who will step forward and that person will step forward. That person will grab the steering wheel of your imagination. That person will jump up and down and put the hog, right? He will. And that person will look straight inside your soul. And that moment, that person will call for another person. And that could be endless. Endless. Until you get to the end of the line of all the people. You will. That's unbelievable. How many people live inside? special don't forget that and you have secrets you do those secrets are yours you live with them almost every other day and sometimes you, you forget about them just forget forget it they didn't even exist why should they they shouldn't exist, but they are. They exist because they can. Because you exist. Your secret exists because you exist. Don't afraid of it. Grab a piece of paper and pen. Do you remember what the pen is? Yes, it's a writing instrument. Use it. Use it. It's okay. It's okay to write it down. And then crumble that piece of paper and throw it away. Or maybe don't. Oops. We'll find it. We'll find it because it's out there. Because you out there, that's why you will find it. And you It's just you. Wait. That's unbelievable. Right? And you... That's not creepy. I was in the process of trying to summarize certain things that um, was giving me Goosebumps was giving me fuzzy feelings, but I didn't have any words for it because they didn't have to be, because they're not supposed to be. One of them have to fly out. One of them have to change its shape. How you have to change your thinking about your secret shadow of yourself. What? That was funny. And you should own it. That was really funny. If you have children, I would suggest to put them away from this television program. Otherwise, you will have to work for the therapy. 
That's ridiculous. I went to therapy. I went for several years. I would go to the doctor. I would greet. Uh, I would sit on a couch. I would talk about my dreams. I would talk about what I wanted, what I missed, what I fantasized about. And uh, now I don't go there anymore. I discover balloons. And I discover What did I discover? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't discover anything. It just appeared. It just appeared in front of me. It just appeared. It just happened. Right? It's like it wasn't my discovery. It wasn't. It's always been out there. My travel through space and time. The gifts that my mind would be giving it to me every other moment, All right? Look out. <laughs> Holy micro. That's not creepy. <gasps> Wait. Not creepy. Wait, wait, one second. Wait, wait, one second. Wait, 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 into things that could be very disturbing. I always like to bring something positive, something that you will remember tomorrow morning, hopefully, something that I will let you on your journey. And you would say, oh, oh yeah, that was, that was something that I can take out of it. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Every day in the morning, it's your birthday. Right? Look. Right? It's your birthday. You should be excited because your body giving you another gift to enjoy the, this crazy world. And you say, wow, the, yes. It doesn't have to be astronomical journey or astronomical birthday. It can be just metaphysical, which is, is. Birthday that allowed you to put pants or a skirt or toothbrush in your hand and say, oh, me like. Wait, wait, one second. Rejoice. <gasps> That's right. It's your birthday again. <laughs> and you should congratulate yourself. Give yourself a hug. Look, like this. It's a hug. It's a pleasure. Oh, my wife is Happy here. Happy birthday. My wife. Wait. <laughs> Wait, my wife. Happy she birthday wants. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear you. Happy birthday to you. 
Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, my shoes are tied. Let's try. That's not, 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 that's I got it. I'm in control. I'm in control of my morning, my birthday. <sighs> because it's simple as that. When I'm not in control, I'm still in control because I have all these people living inside of me. And one of them will step forward and take control, even if I'm not in control. And I don't know who that will be. Well, I know who will be. OK, we're running out of practical advice. This is it, my darlings. This is the time you're going to say thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, thank you very much for this enlightening. Thank you. <laughs> right? I wish this will go on for another half an hour, but it can be. Because time is limited. It's time for you to celebrate tomorrow's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's not creepy. So, rejoice. I gotta sign off. My wife will sign off for right now, and we'll be back some other time. Wait, wait, one second. Sign off. But it's true. We gotta go. Bye. Good night. See you later. Another time. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you, Malik. That Thanks, was Malik. super awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Did you keep that thing out there? I hope I did it right. What do you yeah, think? Oh my wait, god, wait, it's too funny.